Welcome back to Soda City Live. The Columbia Museum of Arts, they are looking for art enthusiasts that would be interested in volunteering long term to help in engaging with visitors. Joining me with more is Curator of Education, Glenna Barlow. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure to have you, but the first question is blaring. What is a docent? What is a docent? <laughs> You're not the first person to ask yeah. me that. Uh, docent it comes from Latin uh, to teach, but basically yeah. it's a volunteer. And they are kind of the heart of the museum in a lot of ways. If you've ever been on a tour at the art museum, chances are you were on a tour that was led by one of our wonderful wow. docents. Wow, interesting. So what are the requirements for a docent? Like, can you, do you have to be a member of the museum to be one? How does that work? Yeah, so we're right now just about to go through docent training. So we are actually looking for folks who want to become docents. You don't have to know anything about art. You don't have to have any kind of art background. That's our job. We give you a little bit of information. We go through training from February to May. Then at the end, we hope you have enough information and training and background and uh, all the good stuff to go out and lead tours and help with our school groups on your own. Uh, we ask awesome. you to be a member, but other than that, um, we'll, we'll help you take care of everything else. That is awesome. Now, other than gaining meaningful knowledge and, and you know helping out this wonderful museum and the facility there, what are some other benefits of being a docent? Sure. Well, I mean, the best thing to me is just that interaction with everyone coming in the door. Uh, every day we see school groups coming in or, or adult groups, and it's so wonderful to see little kids coming in and they look up at the Chihuly and they're just in awe. You know, sometimes it's their first time in a museum. Sometimes it's their first time in a city. Wow. Uh, they're visiting from, you know, rural parts of the state, and they're just excited to, to be there. So facilitating those kinds of moments of joy and wonder is really fabulous. But you also get to be in a group of of you know, 40 or so other like-minded people who love learning and who are excited about being at the museum and kind of giving back to the community. So we have lots of social opportunities. Yeah. We go on little trips and we have training opportunities. We bring in scholars and experts. And so if you're someone who loves to learn, you love art and history, it's a great group for you. It sounds like me. I definitely <laughs> love art and history. It's in my name, art, Artemis. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me, uh, have have well, let me ask you this. I know that you aren't um, having people, you know, they're not needing to have prerequisites or requirements in order to come because obviously all the training is done through you all, mm -hmm. but what type of candidates are you looking for? We really are just looking for people who love to learn. Uh, who love to share ideas about art and history and culture and who are willing to put in a little time. Mm. Um, you know, you have to dedicate a little yeah. bit of time to the training process and to, you know, volunteering with us, leading our school groups, our uh, kids in the studios and those public groups as well. Awesome. And what is that time frame, the working time frame? Like, who would, like, what is the schedule like on a day to day? Sure. Well, for our training, uh, we offer a daytime training as well as an evening training because, you know, we recognize that not everyone's free during the yeah. day, right? Uh, we have day jobs, a lot of us. Um, so we have an opportunity if you can't maybe make it during the day, but you can volunteer on the weekends or in the evenings. We have an option for that. I mean, we really just ask you're available a few hours out of each month to be put up for tours or, or studio mm. offerings. And uh, that's really it. Awesome. And I can't remember if we touched on this or not, but what are the perks of being a docent? Well, yeah, you get to be in a, a great group of people. We have some exclusive opportunities for docents as mm. well. So we have training um, that isn't accessible to anybody else as, except for our docents. Uh, we bring in scholars from the universities in town and um, for our curators. Mm. We facilitate trips sometimes. So we take uh, yeah. trips up to you know Charleston or yeah. Charlotte or other cities to see their museums okay. and get inspired. So, um, and then, you know, we try to offer up docents any kind of uh, exclusive, you know, offers offers that we can. Yeah. yeah. Like, will they get the same perks of like, say, a member? Absolutely. So, yes. so you don't have to be a member to be a docent, but if you are a docent, you do get the membership. We part. do ask our docents to become you members, to so become they members. have all of those okay. benefits along okay. with it, but then they get that additional, you know, just kind of camaraderie oh. and all the social aspects and the training elements awesome. of being awesome. a docent. Awesome. And if a docent becomes a member, is the fee is there is the fee the same or is so it's what's the fee the fee is just the same as our typical membership okay. rates. So there's different rates depending on what you're interested gotcha. in. And we always say that we can work with folks. You know, yeah. if there's anything that's ever cost prohibitive, but you really want to be a docent, we can work something out. So we don't want that to be an obstacle for anybody. Awesome. And when is this class again? And is there a deadline? Yes. So we are asking for applications. It's a pretty simple process. Just a couple of questions to let you let us know why you're interested, yeah. what you, why you want to be a docent. That's due January 26th. And then our training will start in the middle of February. 
Awesome. All right, the deadline is coming up very quickly. Wait. This month is going by fast. The year just started. Well, thank you so much for joining us, sharing these details about a docent. We are learning new things every day, <laughs> and you can too. Just make sure that you don't forget that deadline, January 26th, so you can go ahead and get started with those classes. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this, and when we return, we're going back to our favorite place in the studio, the kitchen. They're all our favorite, but I like to eat. <laughs> we'll be right back after this.